Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third or fourth lot. I can't even remember, but welcome. Um, we're going to be stringing a racket for tomorrow. If you have any questions, uh, I'll be answering as many as I can today. Um, I actually got new string in the mail two days ago. Um, Selenko Confidential 16 gauge. So I demoed that string a couple months back before uh, we entered the red phase, but I was going to buy it anyway, but it's a really good string and you guys should try it out. Um, I'm moving from sling, sorry, uh, vocal cyclone to, to, um, confidential as, uh, it's also the string that my college is going to be playing with. So sounds good. You guys can pipe up in the chat. If you have any questions at all, I'll be sure to answer them and we're going to get started. I decided to switch um, from the cyclone. I thought I thought it had too much power, and since I'm already in a pretty powerful frame, pure aero tour, wanted to switch this guy. It's pretty pretty predictable. Thought I think it has pretty good control, and I still get the same amount of spin that I was getting. So, pretty good string actually. You guys should try it. Out. It's nice because it's going to match my racket too. Black, not yellow. Not neon yellow. Make sure everything's going okay. Can we see it on YouTube? Is it working? I hope so. Yes, we are. It's working. Perfect. Awesome. Something tells me it's going to be a quiet day. It's Friday. Nearly 5 o'clock here. I don't think too many people are going to be... Oh, there we go. We have a viewer. Welcome. Welcome, one viewer. We're just starting. Stringing my racket for tomorrow. Um... Slanko Confidential, new string for me today. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're a former viewer. If, if you are, you know what's going on. If you don't, I guess uh, welcome. Uh, we do lives here on MP Tennis from time to time for stringing rackets, and we have a Q&A. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. If you have a question, you can just fire away.
for you guys that oh hi hi okay oh we okay we've seen you before welcome back how long does it take you to string a racket um depends on the day um depends on how i'm feeling to be honest with you um give her on a good day maybe 40 minutes when I'm streaming with you guys, maybe like an hour, just because I like to take my time and answer questions if you guys have questions. But uh, yeah, welcome back. What I was gonna say before you, uh, before you asked your question was, I think it's gonna be a pretty pretty chill day as far as the viewers. I don't think many people are gonna be joining. Just like having that gut feeling. It's Friday, 4.30. People are still working right now. Or they're just finishing up work, I should say. Who's the most famous tennis player I've played with? Oh, that's a great question. I don't think I've ever played with a famous tennis player. I've met famous tennis players, though. Um, that's another question. I've never played with a famous tennis player unless I'm – no, I don't think I have. Unfortunately – um, have you? Have you played with anybody famous? Have you played with a Novak or a Roger or a Rafa? That'd be pretty cool. it be cool nope it oh nope it'd be cool yeah i know i know right it would be really cool i've met oh my god who have i met i actually met v, uh, vika victoria Sarenka. that was really cool at the us open uh, she's really nice i also met daniel nestor a couple of years ago um i mean i don't know i've i've got autographs from from players but i don't know if that's really meeting them um, I actually met Venus Williams at a restaurant in New York. That was cool. But I've never played with anybody. Have you met anybody? That's cool.
are you um i know i don't know how old you are but it doesn't really matter but um i know that i'm on march break are you guys on march break wherever you're living we're actually almost done our break um it's friday today so we just have the weekend and then we're we're back Going too fast already. Almost messed up. That would have been very bad. What is your best tennis? What is your best achievement in tennis? Good question. Um, I played at the nationals two times. Um, I was supposed to go to nationals last year, but COVID canceled it. So I guess I'm three times nationals. Um, so I'd say nationals is probably my biggest tennis achievement. I'm going to be going to college. So that's a really big achievement for me. I can't really elaborate on that right now uh, because it's still not quite finalized, but I will let you guys know whenever that's done. But for me, probably making it to nationals and becoming a college tennis player are probably my biggest achie tennis achievements because in my area, there's nothing. There's no. There's barely any tennis at all. Um, the closest indoor facility is is an hour and a half away. So wherever, whenever I try and play tennis in the winter, it's it's extremely tough. And, and you know, you know how it is. It's, it's tough. But um, super, those super proud of that. So those are probably my two biggest achievements. Everything is closed here in lockdown. Are you in the UK or Ireland, if I remember correctly? I think you told me that last time. Because we've had a couple lives since, and a couple of people have told me where they're from. So I'm, my head's kind of spinning with all the different places around the world. So. Yes, Ireland. Right. Okay. I did remember. I'm glad I remembered. So still in lockdown, eh? That sucks. We're like, we're kind of out of lockdown. It's weird. Like our phases are broken up into like four different colors. So green, which we've never been in because that means COVID's gone. Yellow means everything's open, but there's still restrictions. Orange is like a tighter restriction yellow, which we're in right now. And red is nearly locked down. And then we have lockdown. So I guess there's six phases, but we were in red for a while. So you couldn't really do anything. How does it work there? Do you guys have like a color system or, cause I think everywhere is kind of different. I know in the U S it's just kind of like they're open or they're not open. So,
think I see a question over there. I'll be right there. Yeah. Uh, here we have five levels, and we're in level five. So, yeah. Yeah, level five. I'm assuming level five is the bad level because you said you're in lockdown. So that sucks. Um, I know what it feels like because we were we were like that for a really long time. Um, and I don't know. Eventually, you just get like so tired of it. So I don't know. It's crazy, crazy times. So I don't even know what to say. It's pretty. It's kind of history, actually. It's kind of cool in that sense, but not cool that we can't live our lives. So for, do you do school, uh, like, it would be at home, I'm assuming, right? Because that's what we are. We're half-half. We go to school half the time, and then stay home half the time. How long have you been uploading to this channel? Um, we kind of had sporadic uploads within the past year just kind of for fun, but probably I'm going to say five months ago. What's five months ago? Maybe like September of, of uh, 2020 is when we really started to, to kind of do stuff like weekly i guess um because we have the youtube where we upload a lot of videos we actually have another video coming out in the next couple of days we have the podcast which is you can access through our instagram we have instagram we have facebook all the good stuff so yeah it's kind of fun but yeah i'd say probably well actually some of our uploads are from a really long time ago maybe like almost a year ago. Um, but we weren't really like posting all the time then, but now we're, we're doing a lot of uploads or we're doing as many as we can. I should say not a lot because we're not doing a ton. We try to do one like once a week if we can, because we're pretty busy, but, uh, we're happy to see the recent growth. I mean, it's not, it's not huge, but I mean, Ever since we started doing more content, we've had a lot more traction and stuff. So we're going to keep doing it for sure. And we, we enjoy doing it. So done yeah online school if i remember correctly pro i probably asked that last time i'm sorry i forgot yeah the channel's great oh thank you appreciate that we're trying our best um yeah we're trying our best because just kind of like sharing tennis content like helping people that want to learn or, or that are in a similar situation to me so yeah Yeah, we enjoy doing it for sure. So we're glad that you like it. On to the mains. I think I was right. I think it is going to be a quiet day. But that's okay. It happens. We had a couple of really good lives. Like the last two were great. Um... But yeah, like last one was really good, actually. We had like six the whole time averaging. It seems to be like people like them, so I'll just continue to do them. I mean, 
I always am going to have to swing rackets, so I might as well do a live. Because it's just more content, and people can ask questions too, so. So what are you doing to to pass your time in lockdown? Have you developed any new hobbies or what's keeping you going? I know I kind of took up the video gaming stuff for the good or for the for the better or for the worse. Um, it's kind of fun actually. Yeah, the lives are I don't know what you mean. Yeah, the lives are class something to watch because lockdown is. Oh, the lives. Are you, are you talking about the lives for this channel? Because then I'm glad that you're you're tuning into the lives. Um, gaming, I'd say, you know what? I think that's a huge one. It's so big right now. And you have all the BRs, you have like just other games that are really popular right now too. And Twitch is getting really big and Anyway, it's crazy. Gaming's going to be probably, like, televised before you know it. Like, on the TV. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. I think I cut that too short. I have to do another one. I'm going to hear it one more time. I don't want to mess up. What do I play? Mm. When I was a little younger, I used to do a lot of the the NHL stuff, the FIFA stuff, all that stuff. But now I'm kind of more attracted to the BR. So I tried Apex. I didn't really like it. Um, didn't mind Warzone, but I'm really bad at it. So I don't really play that much anymore. Um, but a lot of my friends still play Fortnite. So I do play a little bit of Fortnite. And what was the other one? Oh, yeah, I tried it Hyperscape. That's kind of cool, but then I got tired of it. I don't know if that's popular in Ireland, but Hyperscape's pretty cool. It's kind of different, to be honest with you. All right, let's one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's going to be close. Do I dare use that? I don't think I will. Do I dare do it? Do I dare do it? I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Because, boom. Yeah, I'm doing it. What games are you playing right now? Or what kind of games? One of my friends actually wants me to get into to Minecraft. Um, I don't know though, it's kind of old I feel like. But I've actually never done the Minecraft thing, believe it or not, ever. So I don't know, maybe I'll do it for fun, but I don't know, I don't know. Chat over there. 
Here's just FIFA and COD and Fortnite are the big games. FIFA Warzone and RD2. I see. I see, I see. Cool. Yeah, honestly, I know I know people hate on Fortnite like all the time, but it's probably still my favorite game. Like, I don't know. So I know in like London and stuff, they're four hours be behind or ahead. I think you're ahead. So it would be like nine o'clock in Ireland if I'm correct. Is it nine o'clock there? This black string can look awesome. I should, should change the da, da, da. add caption. Is that how I do it? I don't know how I do this. Still so new to all this stuff. String, stringing, and Awesome. Yeah, that's up. I think it's working. Actually, I was just thinking, you asked me about my achievements. And I thought of some. I, uh, I'm actually one of the youngest certified coaches in with one of the certifications. I'm one of the youngest one of the, with the certification I have in my country. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and at the nationals, I earned the sportsman sportsmanship award. So I'm really proud of that too. So those would be other ones I would add. My country has the worst rated team in FIFA. What's nice? Nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh, get my time down. Yeah, it's, it, it would be dark outside there now. It, it's still sunny here. I change that. There we go.
I'll see a question. Uh, do you have much COVID actually in our province? So in Canada, we have like 13 provinces and territories. Um, so they're basically like little, like it's like in the U.S. how they have states. We have provinces. So um, I live in the province of New Brunswick and there's about 800,000 people that live in New Brunswick. And today, I'll actually check just because how many cases we had today. Um, why not? It's pretty low. We're lucky, New Brunswick. Uh, COVID. I know we've been really low in the cases for sure. Obviously, you guys must have a lot of cases still if you're in lockdown. GMB. Okay, today we had today we had four new cases of COVID nineteen. So we only had four out of eight hundred thousand people. So that's that's pretty good. Um, we actually moved into we're actually moving into that yellow phase I was talking about earlier on Sunday night, which is pretty cool. So we're I'd say we're doing pretty good. Um, other parts of Canada aren't doing so good. So like the other provinces, they do, their system is different than the New Brunswick one. So it really depends on which province you're in, you're in. but New Brunswick is definitely one of the, the provinces that is doing better with the virus for sure. Um, and geez, we have way more. Yeah. It just kind of depends on where you are. I think like, I don't know. It's crazy. But like we've been doing really good the last couple couple of months really and even weeks like we're really like I feel like our government's doing a really good job like wherever we go we wear a mask we social distance all the time um, really the only place we don't have our mask on is is our house like we like since we do go to school like all the desks are separated accordingly um yeah so i mean when i come home i take my mask off but everywhere else i go i have my mask even like when we work out at the gym and stuff i wear my mask um or if i'm at school and i have to eat then i can take my mask off but it needs to go back on uh when i'm done eating so yeah the, the rules are really strict but we don't mind them because we're we're doing pretty good so The thing that might get us though is like we have like zero vaccines right now. So I don't know what it's like in Ireland or even like, you know, the UK or whatever, but I think it's going to be a while until we get the vaccine. Anyway, I hope it goes faster though. How many cases do you guys in Ireland average per day? Like, what's that like?
Yep, YouTube, it looks like it's going to be a quiet day. Quiet day, stringing a racket. So, if you're watching this at a later date and you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Because it will be going on YouTube later. Well, as soon as I'm done, it'll upload automatically. So, okay, I don't know if you're still on there, but I don't know if you've seen our other videos, but, like, what do you think of them? What what would you like to see? Because I know there was, some, there was a couple people that commented on, what was it, one of the recent videos, and they wanted to see a vlog, a tournament vlog. So that's one thing that we're going to be trying to do as soon as there's a tournament. I'll kind of run you guys through my routine. Um... I think that'll be really fun, actually, because there's a lot of a lot of things that go on before you get on the court, right, and play, and a lot of things that actually go on after. So, yeah, that's something that that I'll share with you guys for sure. Um, but yeah, what do you want to see? Probably almost half done the, the crosses now. Since there's less people on today, I'm, I'm moving a little faster actually than I normally would with you guys. However, we are 40 minutes, I'm slow again. Want a break? Got any viewers? Oh, dang, we're back at zero. Oof. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We'll just keep going. Almost done.
Should be fine. I was nervous. I wasn't. Oh, there's another. Have I watched TWD? What's TWD? Let's give it a quick TWD. Oh, The Walking Dead. Dang, no. If Clearly, I don't watch it because I didn't know what I meant. No, I don't watch The Walking Dead. Um, a lot of people like it. Is that still going? Um, I know a lot of people love that show. Really popular. Um, but no, I don't watch it. Maybe I should try it. I'm not really into that stuff, if I'm being honest, but I'm kind of more into, like, um, the shows like Breaking Bad or Ozark or, you know, stuff like that, like the, the drug cartel stuff. Um, I love the shows like that. They're awesome. Um, I've also seen, like, Suits and... You know, all those things, shows like that. Um, I'm not really either a, what do you call it? I'm not really an office guy or like a friends. Like I tried watching those, but, you know, I don't know. I just, or even Big Bang Theory. I don't know if you watch that, if that's a show in the UK, but like, I don't know. It just doesn't really do it for me. I don't think they're really funny. Um, yeah, the new episodes are coming out every week, and this summer is the last season. Oh, okay, so it's one of those. I see, I see. So season, season 11. Yeah, that's awesome. Hopefully it's a good season finale, because I know that some shows kind of their last season sucks, and then people get really mad, and hopefully they have a really good, good turnout for that. No, I know, I know a ton of people that love that show. So have you seen the Breaking Bads and stuff? Have you seen any of those? Those are those are awesome. Those are uh, Breaking Bad's probably my favorite show. Yeah, it's it's class. Yeah, I've seen a bit of Breaking Bad, and I've watched The Godfather. Yeah. Godfather? You know what? I have not seen The Godfather, believe it or not. People say that's like the greatest movie of all time, and I haven't seen it. Um, yeah, I love Breaking Bad. I know a couple of my friends started watching it, and I couldn't get past the third episode, because there's a scene in like the third episode or something. I don't want to say anything in case people, I spoil it, but... There's a scene and people get, you know, grossed out or whatever. And then they're like, I can't watch this show anymore. But uh, if you can get past that episode, it's like so good. But uh, yeah, no, I haven't seen The Godfather either.
In The Walking Dead, like a character who was like everyone's favorite, gets his head bashed with a, ba- a baseball bat with barbed wire around it. It's gross. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could handle it, to be honest with you. I don't know. Is it really like... Uh, like, it, does it look super real, or can you kind of be like, oh, it's a movie, it's okay? Because I know some people are like, love that stuff, and then some people are, as soon as they see it, they're like, oh my god, I can't watch that anymore. Yeah, it looks real. If you want to see it, look up Glenn Death, The Walking Dead, but I advise you not, okay? Uh, maybe I won't, just because I don't need to see it. Um, yeah. Cool. So, would you say Walking Dead is like, it's gotten a lot better over the seasons, or it's slowly got worse? Like, I know with some shows that I've seen, it's kind of like they need to end the show. Like, it's it's kind of, they don't need to ruin it or anything. Like, it's time to stop. But then some shows are like, oh, they had to end it. Like, I loved it. Um, is The Walking Dead like that, do you find? Like, do you feel like they've lost a lot of the fans over the years because it got worse or they've gained a lot because it's getting better? Slowly got worse, and then it became good again because it got more and more gruesome, like sticking people's heads on sticks. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm the best. I see. I see. Well, at least it's still keeping you guys entertained, the Walking Dead fans. That's, that's all that matters, right? That's good. Getting down to the end here, guys. We're moving actually faster than normal today since there's not as many people in here. Not as many questions, not as many conversations. That's okay, though. Not everybody's tuning into the MP Tennis Live.
Da, 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 da. On to the last one. Dang. Where did you come up with the name MP Tennis? MP Tennis stands for Match Point Tennis. So yeah, pretty simple. MP Match Point. Um, we were thinking about different names we could use, but um, I don't know. Something about Match Point Tennis kind of stuck because then we could abbreviate it to MP Tennis for like, um, you know, Instagram and stuff and YouTube and anyway, yeah, that's what it stands for. And, yeah, honestly, it was a lot of my dad that uh, came up with that stuff. He's pretty good at that stuff. Had the same problem last time on the string when I did a live. Come on, not again. There we go. Perfect. Finishing up here and see what we can do here. There we have it. Uh, um, do you stream on any other platforms other than YouTube? Great question. I was streaming Twitch, sorry, bleh, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I did that on my really, my very first live, but it really slowed down the chat. And when I was talking, it was really delayed and it got um, choppy. So we just, sorry, I just hit the computer. Um, we just stuck with YouTube. And most of, we don't have any audience on uh, Twitch either. And I was using my personal Twitch to stream from it. So we're just sticking with the YouTube for now. And if for some reason there becomes um, a want to continue it on Twitch or something, maybe we can find a way to make it work and do both at the same time. But for now it is just YouTube. Awesome. 
like I always do for you guys that are going to be watching this later and that are not on the live currently. Um, this is the finishing touch. Finishing touch. What am I saying? Uh, this is the final product, not the finishing touch. Um, once again, strung with Solinko Confidential at 52 pounds. Um, I got to cut that right there. Um, yep. New string, new reel. Um, switched over for Vocal Cyclone. Um, super excited to use this tomorrow. I'm also going to be demoing rackets tomorrow too. So super pumped about that. So, okay. Um, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Um, if you're still there with us, thank you for, for, for staying and sticking around. I know it's probably getting late over there in, in Ireland. So thank you for sticking around and hopefully we'll see you next time. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else for you guys. Yeah, don't forget to play some tennis if you can. Um, we'll see you in the next live. We do have some YouTube videos coming out. We do have a podcast that was that was done a couple of days ago. So if you guys have made it this far that, that will watch this after it's actually not live, check those out. Check out our website. Check it all out. Um, we hope you, we, you enjoy it. And we'll see you guys in the next piece of content that we put out. So take care, everyone, and we'll see you later.